stop dreaming about the IITs and start preparing strategically. J Advance 2026 eligibility is razor sharp and if you miss one of these five rules, your IIT dream is over. So welcome back to Careers360 and over here I am actually going to talk about the eligibility criteria. So over here IIT Roodkey has actually published the eligibility criteria for appearing in J Advance 2026 for Indian Nationals and OCI or PIOs basically. So initially you need to visit jadb.ac.in, click over here on this particular link and over here then you will be redirected to this particular page wherein it has been written all the candidates must simultaneously fulfill each and every one of the following five criteria to appear for J Advance 2026. Talking about criteria number one, performance in J mains 2026 basically. So what actually has been written candidates should be among the top 250000 successful candidates including all the categories in be or btech paper of j means 2026 the percentage of various categories of candidates to be shortlisted listed are 10 percent for general ews 27 percent for obc ncl 15 percent for sc 7.5 percent for st and the remaining 40.5 percent is open for all basically Within each of these five categories, 5% 5 horizontal reservation is available for PWD candidates. So, here a table is given hai, category wise distribution of top 2,50,000 candidates. So, over here you can have a look a total of 1,1250 candidates will be selected for open open PWD category wherein for open it will be 96,187 and for open PWD it will be 5,063. Talking about general EWS and general EWS PWD a total of 25,000 candidates will be selected wherein for general EWS it will be 23,750 and general EWS PWD it will be 1,250. Rest you can have a look if I talk about for OBC NCL and OBC NCL PWD a total of 67,500 candidates will be there wherein 64,125 candidates will be for OBC NCL and 3,375 candidates will be OBC NCL PWD. For SC and SC PWD, a total of 37,500 candidates will be there. For ST and ST PWD, a total of 18,750 candidates will be there. Okay, so this particular table, it is actually going to show you the order to be followed while choosing the top 2,50,000 candidates in the various categories based on the performance in BE or BTEC paper of J means 2026. Please remember this particular criteria. Moving ahead and now talking about the criteria number two and that is the age limit. So what is the age limit? They are actually talking about candidates should have been born on or after October 1, 2001. Five years age relaxation will be given to SC, ST and PWD candidates. That is these candidates should have been born on or after October 1, 1996. A criteria number three. Number of attempts. A candidate can attempt J advance maximum of two times in two consecutive years. Supposingly, if you have appeared in your board's examination in the year 2025. So now you can give your J advance examination for 2025 and 2026. Okay. Two consecutive years. Now, if you are actually appearing for your board examination in 2026. So, you will be eligible for two consecutive years. That means for 2026 and 2027. Remember this thing. Criteria number four, appearance in class 12th or equivalent examination. So, what they are actually talking about is a candidate should have appeared for class 12th examination for the first time either in 2025 or 2026 with physics, chemistry and mathematics as compulsory subjects. Now, the candidates who had appeared in class 12th examination for the first time in 2024 or earlier, they are not eligible to appear in J Advanced 2026 irrespective of the combination or number of subjects attempted or offered basically. Clear? Rest you can have a look over here. Moving ahead and now talking about the criteria number 5. Now, earlier admissions at, at IITs. So, a candidate should not have been admitted to an IIT under any academic program that is listed in JOSA Business Rules of 2025 
irrespective of whether or not the candidate continued in the program or accepted an IIT seat by reporting online or at a reporting center in the past. Candidates whose admission to IITs was cancelled for whatever reason after joining any IIT are not eligible to appear for J Advance 2026 basically. So rest you can have a look and you need to fulfill all these five criteria. So IIT seats are reserved only for the qualified. Make sure your J main rank, your 75% board marks and your attempts all align. Check the full list now and don't let a technicality ruin your future.